Hi there. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about taurine and the longevity of the Japanese. Taurine. It's kind of interesting. It's, it's been put in just about every energy drink there is in huge amounts. And that raises everybody's attention. And it's probably to cut down on the toxic effects of too much caffeine. That's why those companies are doing it. But taurine is an interesting amino acid. It's an amino acid that you don't use to make protein. It's not used in the protein cascade. But it's, and we also stop making it as we get older. But it curiously plays a huge role in many functions. Uh, it certainly helps the osmo, osmotic, the concentration of fluids in your body heart and cells and that's where may it come role in the heart it helps it helps has two sulfur atoms and plays a big antioxidant role as sulfur atoms it probably plays a big role in balancing plasmalogen levels my personal favorite i think that may be the real secret but the Japanese get a lot more of it than we do. And that's because seaweed has like 600 milligrams per 100 grams of seaweed uh, and fish, which the Japanese eat a lot of, uh, particularly shellfish. Uh, scallops are the champions. Clams, oysters, all have high amounts. But when you get like, when you get down to red meat, you're down to, instead of 390 milligrams per serving in, in oysters, you get 130 in beef and I mean 40 in beef and 17 in chicken and 40 in lamb and zero from vegetables zero some nuts and beans have a little bit of taurine in them so vegans and vegetarians have a hard time getting enough taurine and as we get older your taurine production goes away that you make internally now as we get older we also get more atrial fibrillation and if you were to Google and look up taurine and atrial fibrillation, you'd see that taurine plays a big role in naturally reducing atrial fibrillation. That may be part of why we get atrial fib. But the real curious thing comes is if you look at population consumption of taurine and longevity and do the statistics for it, you find that taurine accounts for some 60% of the variability between populations when you parse out everything else out, take out all the other bad habits and good habits and everything else. Taurine is left accounting for some 60% of the variability. Okay, if you would follow that logic, the Japanese are living some 5 to 10 years longer than we are. And 60% of that's attributed to taurine. That could be as much as a four to five year benefit on their longevity from taurine. That's very interesting for being such an innocuous little compound that nobody pays attention to. What will work for me? I take magnesium every day and I'm now purchasing magnesium taurate to use as my magnesium source. So I get the taurine as a part of a twofer. You could do that too. It's a very e easy, simple thing to do. But you should be on taurine. We all should. Dr. John Whitcomb, News and Nutrition, Why the Japanese Live Longer. It's probably their taurine.